Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Acacia. I try a lot of skincare products and I also finish a lot of skincare products. So today's video, I'm going to share with you rapid fire empties and quick reviews on them as well. I've been hoarding these around my house waiting to film this video. I can't wait to throw them away. <laughs> Let's start with our cleansers. So first we have the Inuik Centella Mild Cleansing Foam. This is a product that is pH balanced. So it's pH 5.5. It has Centella Asiatica extract. The ingredients that are in this cleanser, it is also a foam, which as you guys know, as, a com as someone with combination skin, I really do like foaming cleansers. I like to sense them up and press it into my skin. I find it really unclogs the pores. However, foams can be quite drying to your skin. But this one is one that I really do like. It is, I believe, for oily skin, but as a combination person as well, I do like it too. If you're looking for something that is a good cleansing foam, it's not too expensive. There's a lot of products in here. You do not need to use a lot. And it also doesn't strip your skin, just leaves you feeling fresh and clean and let your pores breathe. This will be one that I totally recommend. Next up, we have the Naturium Fermented Rice Enzyme Cleansers. Okay, first of all, I love this cleanser. I love the little exfoliation enzymes that are in here. The reason being is because sometimes scrubs are a little bit too harsh and sometimes you don't want to use a chem chemical. I personally love the feeling of like little balls. Let me say that again. I personally love the feeling of like little, what do you call them? Little exfoliants on my skin. Sometimes I just feel like in order to truly get my skin nice and smooth, I need to feel something. And so this is a perfect marriage of both worlds because the enzymes are going to help to chemically break apart the dead skin. And you're also going to get that feeling like you're scrubbing your skin. And of course, they're fermented ingredients. So there's a lot of antioxidants in here. It's going to be really, really good for your skin. I love how Naturum was able to get this cleanser to have a lot of those things that we love from K-Beauty, especially with the fermented rice. Fermented ingredients have been taking over the planet as far as I'm concerned when it comes to skincare. And they were able to put it into this really nice cleanser. I truly do like it. It is fragrance free. It has a, a couple of different uh, fruit enzymes in here as well. So you're getting a lot of like antioxidants, lots of rich benefits on your skin. I really do like this. I do find that it keeps your skin feeling nice and soft. It's non-stripping. It's not too strong. And it's also fragrance free. I totally recommend getting this cleanser. Next up is our toners. I haven't really been using a lot of toners, um, mostly because I've been using a different type of product, which I'll get to in a second. But the one that I've been loving recently and the one that I finished is this Hamish All Clean Low pH Balancing Vegan Toner. This one is also, once again, that pH 5.5, so it's gonna be very um, gentle on your skin. I just love that it, it, it's just hydration. And after you cleanse your skin, personally, I find that my skin really dries out after I, I cleanse, so toner is like the perfect thing to prep your skin for that next level. And this one specifically, I really, really do love. I love how gentle it is. I love the ingredients that are in here. It's really nothing special to be honest, but when it comes to toner, I just want something hydrating. I want something fragrance-free, and I want something that's gonna just give my skin that, that suppleness, and this totally does it. And it's one of those brands that I really do like. I've tried a number of products from Hamish, and I really do like them. This one is another one that goes in the books. I mentioned I haven't been using Using toner very much that's why there's only one um, and that is because I've been using sheet masks so I am a lover of sheet masks but I just cannot seem to justify paying like five dollars for an entire plastic container there's just too much plastic in single-use sheet masks so what I do is I get sheet box sheet mask box this one is from Mary May it's a Sika I'm not going to pronounce that name. It's going to be on the screen. It's a tea tree calming mask that is great for sensitive skin. I have been loving this. I do love these sheet masks. I love the tea tree. It's really good for just, you know, hydrating your skin. Tea tree is one of those things I don't like using as a single ingredient, but I do love seeing it in things. And the content of tea tree in here, it's very balanced. It doesn't sting your eyes at all. Tea tree, I find sometimes a little too much, but because of the Sika that's in here as well, I find it really calming and I find it really, really hydrating. This is how I get like that really supple, plush skin, that skin that bounces back, sheet masks. Pretty much use this every single morning. I use it every time I exfoliate my skin. Every time I do a clay mask, I, I just, I freaking love them. And that's why for me, it makes sense to just get a box. I already have three more boxes. <laughs> Let's move on to serum. So hydrating serums is kind of what I've been using recently. Um, like I said, I wasn't using toner, I was using serums. So this is the Skin Food Enrich Essence Moisture Nutrition 
Propolis Extract 63%. This is basically a honey infused hydrating serum. Honey is an amazing ingredient for your skin. It's an amazing humectant. I have been loving this product. The only thing I don't like about it is the dropper bottle. I don't know why everyone is so obsessed with these bottles. I don't like it. I like pumps, but I digress. This product is really, really nice. Once again, it's nothing like special. It's just a hydrating serum, but it's nice to try different formulas. This one, I like that it's not sticky. It leaves your skin nice and supple and dewy and gorgeous, and it feels amazing. Once again, nothing special about this product, but if you're looking to try something new and something with honey, this would be a really good one to try. The next serum, I love, love, love. This one was actually sent to me from Coco Kind. This is their Ceramide Barrier Serum. Now, I have a habit of destroying my skin barrier because I'm trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation, so I use a lot of exfoliating acids on my skin, and sometimes I go a little too far. <laughs> so what I use to get rid of that irritation is um, uh, soothing barrier serums. This one is like, it's not just hydration. It is like a milky... This, there's nothing left in here, but it's a milky consistency. I like that it's not just hydrating. It's not just hydrating, it's moisturizing as well. The ingredients are super calming as well. This honestly got rid of my irritation, I think in about five days or so. I had a bunch of like redness here on my face. It was like puffy and really inflamed. This got rid of it so quickly. You need to have at least one soothing product, preferably a serum and a moisturizer that are both soothing products, just in case you run into a little bit of irritation. This is one that I will be restocking and keeping on hand. Next, we have The Ordinaries. This product was also sent to me. This is The Ordinaries Multipeptide HA Serum. I'm actually very impressed with this product and specifically about what The Ordinary has been doing in the past couple of um, years. I think the past two years or so, we've seen a lot of new products from The Ordinary that are more focused on formulation versus ingredient focus. And I really do like that for many of reasons because it's, it's just too much and I'm trying to condense my routine. A lot of people are trying to condense their routines at this point and I really love what they've been putting out. So they're a little bit pricier, but the formulation is something that hands down I really, really respect and something I really do enjoy. I love the direction that they're going in. And with this multi-peptide, peptides are really good for, it helps to support your skin cells in their regenerative process. And of course it adds that extra hydration. I find with peptides, if you use them properly, then you'll find it'll fill out your skin in a way that you won't see like the fine lines anymore. Whether it will reverse that, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a cosmetic scientist, but it really does help it is a bit more pricier, like I said, than their regular products, but I do think that it is worth the money to get a complex formula, a more well thought out formulation. They're, the texture of this product is amazing. I haven't had any issues with it pilling under any of my skincare products. I love using this alongside a vitamin C or brightening serum, also alongside a retinol, whichever one, retinol specifically because it can be very, very drying and this will help to mitigate those effects and help it to just apply better on your skin. I talked about cleansers. I also have a cleansing balm. This one is a Youth to the People Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. This one, when I tell you everything is removed with this cleanser. I'm talking waterproof makeup, all the stay on ready makeup, everything is removed. It has a, a smell, but it's not like fragranted. It just smells like, you know, there's something there. It is obviously vegan as well. It's made with maki and prickly pear. I just love how they are able to put so many just fun and interesting ingredients into their products. I love the texture of this. It is like a butter. It is so freaking smooth. It cleanses your makeup and sunscreen so quickly. The only caveat, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it does sting your eyes. So when I'm using this, I will usually use a micellar water over my eyes and then use this to remove the rest of my face. If they would be able to remove whatever is in this that stings the eyes, this would be a 10 out of 10 product. But because it does sting my eyes, I won't be repurchasing it. I do like it though. I do really do enjoy this formula. I just don't like the stinging. Masks. I'm a mask girly. I love me some masks. And I've been using the different Detox and Soothe two-step treatment mask. Now, whenever I use masks, you guys know I like using a clay and then a hydrating one. This one is a two-step, so it has both built in here. So the clay mask is like a 
slightly heating mask like it warms up your skin it helps to just unclog your pores and let your skin breathe it's really good for acne i use it as a spot treatment as well as a mask um usually just around this area that has like a lot of clogged pores and you put it on for about i think three minutes yeah three minutes and it's supposed to detoxify your skin and then rinse it off and then you follow up with the cooling mask the cooling mask is more of a gel texture you apply it it goes on very smoothly you don't have to rinse it off so you can just use that as a serum before putting on your moisturizer at night um i really do like the two-step method the only thing i do not like about this product is the cooling mask I, I don't like the cooling mask it's supposed to be cooling your skin down after you put the the mask on to heat it up or whatever it's supposed to cool it down but by doing so it has first of all a weird smell i don't i don't know what that smells like but I don't like the smell. It, it kind of smells like licorice. I'm not a fan of licorice. So maybe that's what it is. But it also has menthol as far as it's it's a very tingly menthol feeling. If I look at the ingredients, hmm, I'm not seeing men oh no, that's phenexiethanol. I'm not seeing menthol in the ingredient list. It has that like really cooling menthol feeling. So there's probably like a scientific name for the menthol that I'm not recognizing right now. Um, the ingredients are great other than that. And it actually did create a lot of irritation on my skin when I used it most recently. I had a bunch of redness around my eyes, all over my eyes here, my forehead, it was all irritation central. So if they could just sell this as the mask by itself without the, the, the cooling serum, this would be a yes. For now, this is like a six out of ten just because of that cooling mask it's half the product sunscreens you guys know i'm a sunscreen girly i wear sunscreen religiously i also have a whole playlist dedicated to testing out sunscreens and dark skin complexions now i had to slow down on that for a little bit because i had so many sunscreens that i hadn't finished and i need to finish it i hate seeing open products that are not done and then buying other products. One of my goals is to finish the sunscreens that I have in my arsenal. So I did finish this one, which I do have a review of already. This is the Marion May Sika Soothing Sun Cream. Once again, Marion May, really good brand. Anyways, I have a whole review on this one. I love that it doesn't leave a cast on your skin. I haven't found it pilling with any of my other products. It also has a very light scent. I don't remember whether this one is fragrance free or not. Um, once again, it's in the review video, it'll be linked above, but I really do like this product. I love how it feels like butter on your skin, the consistency, the texture, the way that it blends, the way that it applies under makeup. Like I just, I really love this one and I'm kind of sad to see it go, but I know that I'll find other things that I like as well. If you are looking for a sunscreen, please try this one. You will enjoy it. You guys know that I've been trying to fade pigmentation and for that I've been using Faded. Now, I cannot do a video without talking about this. <laughs> This is the Faded by Topicals Brightening Clearing Serum. It's made with kojic acid, transmutic acid, melatonin, uh, niacinamide, licorice root, and azelaic acid. I talked about vitamin C and how I'm not a fan of vitamin C. There's other ingredients that are a lot better, especially if you have a darker skin complexion. And I'm talking about uh, skin of color. This is anyone whose skin tends to tan in the sun versus burn in the sun. You have skin of color and vitamin C may not be the most effective thing for you. We need something called a multi-path way. And this product contains one, two, three, four, five, six different brightening ingredients, which is phenomenal. It does have a smell. Um, it is fragrance free, I believe, which is why it has a smell because there's nothing in here that masks the actual scent of these ingredients. They did change the formulation, I think twice. So it does smell a lot better. And I can definitely tell the difference. This is one of the earlier batches. The one that I have is obviously the newest batch and it does smell different. So it's not as bad. Now, with that being said, I don't care what it smells like as long as it works. Okay. And I love using this at night. In the morning, I find that it sometimes pills with my sunscreen, but at at night totally fine i will do a video on hyperpigmentation specifically but what one thing i will say about this product is when you first get it you cannot be using acne ingredients while you're using this if you're using acne fighting ingredients and this at the same time you're going to be counterproductive they're either going to cancel each other out or they're going to just make your skin super dry and irritated so choose one get rid of your acne then move on to hyperpigmentation if you're looking to fade dark spots pick this up I've been noticing now that I'm in my late 20s that the lines around my eyes are starting to appear. So I'm trying to mitigate them as much as possible with retinol and hydration. I've been using 
eye patches. These are the Pyeong Kang Yule Black Tea Rice Time Reverse Eye Patches. I did a short video on this already, but I really do enjoy these patches. I think it doesn't really matter what patches you get. It's literally just hyd hydration under your eyes. Like there's nothing crazy. Unless it has like brightening ingredients or retinol or something. It's literally just hydration. You can get whatever you want. But I love the way that these are shaped. I love the ingredients that are in here. I love how they fit under the eyes. I just, I really do enjoy this. If you're looking for an eye mask or eye patches, this is one that I would definitely consider getting. Um, I do love the brand as well. I love their their formulations of their products and this is just another one that i really do enjoy from this company the actual patches i think they're like navy with a bit of sparkles in them they're just really like chic this is definitely just a if you want it type of product it's not a necessity but i do enjoy eye patches the last two products are body related first is the notorium salicylic acid body spray this oh my god this is my third bottle of this this is my body my back acne savior save your okay first of all this is an airless airless aerosol aerosol spray so it's continuous i don't like sprays when it comes to my back it's just really uncomfortable to me but this is a continuous spray so you just literally do that and it goes all over i love the distribution of this product the salicylic acid it's two percent same for your face this is the percentage at which it's the most effective and without being like irritating most of them you'll find are at two percent but i really do love the way how this is formulated it has some other really great ingredients not just the uh salicylic acid there's niacinamide in here there is oat proteins in here fermented ingredients in here i really just love this it also has alpha arbutin so multi-pathway it's going to help to get rid of the acne soothe them unclog the pores as well as brighten them a little bit with the niacinamide and the alpha the uh of alpha arbutin for some reason this product is really hard to find in canada i've purchased it from their website before because i ordered two of these this is the last of the two bottles that i have and i tried to repurchase it again over the christmas holiday for some reason it wasn't shipping to canada if you guys are having the same issue or you found a way around that please let me know because i need to restock this i really do I've tried going on Amazon. They don't ship to Canada for some reason of this product. Their website doesn't ship to Canada. I don't know where to find this, okay? If you guys have any tips of where to find this product, please let me know because I need to restock it. I'll probably like buy five of them because I need it that much. With the summer coming and I love to wear like backless, shoulderless, you know, shirts, I do need this to help me. But if you are able to pick this up, please do because it is freaking amazing. Last but not least, this is the Be Sleek Outer Thigh Cream. And when it says outer thigh, I mean, do not confuse it with your inner thigh. Put it on your outer thigh. I'm speaking from experience. This is from the company called May Lease. I got this in a box from Shoppers Beauty. And basically, it's supposed to be a slimming cream. First of all, it's spicy. Like, this is a very spicy product, which I kind of like, actually. But do not make the mistake of applying this anywhere else on your body except for your thighs, or you will encounter some weird sensations. What this is supposed to do is it's supposed to help get rid of your cellulite by reinvigorating your skin. So it has like a heating ingredient that's in here that is going to give you a, a warming sensation. And it's basically supposed to just stimulate your skin, essentially. I do find that it made my thighs really tight, which I was not expecting. I was like, okay, you know, whatever, auto thigh cream, whatever, <laughs> you know? But actually, my skin felt really good. I started using it on my arms as well, even though it says outer thighs. Anyways, I used it on my arms because I want that, that thickness to be here too. And I really did find that it made my skin more thick, more thought, more firm, taut, more taut, more firm. And I finished this really quickly. I got it at the beginning of December and it's already done because I use this, I kid you not, every single day. So if you are looking for a thigh cream to help you mitigate cellulite, it's not going to get rid of your cellulite, but it's going to tone up your skin. This, definitely this. So those are all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products. What are your thoughts and what will you be trying or restocking this this month? Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovelies and gents in the next video. Bye.